we've got the audio leak and we might go back and something about them. Um, so what, what era is that with that being oh, oh, Well, we've got kind of Gulliver, we've got kind of Gulliver and Scott and Bob, and Dotson and Scarecrow. So we've got most characters to do. To do. But there's also a mention, in probably off the century, this would be the book we do. Mina had a 64-ish, 50-64, a super group. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that would be made up of all the characters we can use that were superheroes in my group. That would be fun. Yeah. I've got the first few pages here. This is, this is the opening scene, of this, this dream sequence, where we have the, uh, the, kind of the crowning like yeah. uh, ritual going on. That's uh, Konecki in bed at the top, mm -hmm. like the ghost hunter. Where does he come from? Um, he comes from um, uh, William Pope Hodgson's series of books. Okay. True um, stories. Very famous. I knew the um, name. We did Passing of Walden Oh, yes, of course. course. And that was adapted, wasn't it, by Paul? Yeah, that's right. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes, that was a terrific one. I think, yeah. 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 And this, this is where we're jumping on now to. Uh, that's Nemo's daughter. Nemo's daughter, exactly. So this is really the passing of the torch, really, the end of one era of the Nautilus. And, uh, yeah. This is and ultimately, uh, she'll be uh, a terrorist in the future. It's not the sorry, not on the screen, sorry, which is not particularly big or bright. Anyway, there we go, there's some papers as well. Now, I'm going to ask you this. Do you, you obviously know what, what's being said in here, don't you? Because we don't, because I don't read. This is... Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. So, um, is, somebody, is, this got, is it available in English somewhere? And how do you feel about that? I felt a bit, I can't read this. I don't Annoying, but I'm going to have to look and see what that, I was seeing this chap here. That, and you can understand that there's obviously conflict, and there's obviously uh, he's telling It's all in the picture, really. You you can't figure it out. You're, actually you're not missing it. out anything what, what, essential. What we want, so I'm not that kind of thing. I only want to come out and uh, go into it. We've done this before, haven't we? When you've yeah, we have. It's talking in German. Mm -hmm. We've had, uh, yeah. we have, yeah, we have French, we have yeah. Yeah. Arab secrets. Yeah. 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 What I like is that being disconnected from what's happening around you by yeah. language. Mm. Um, they should be speaking in their native tongue, father daughter private right conversation. So they speak English. Uh, but you're not missing anything, and you can tell that obviously he's angry with her. He's angry with her. Yeah, that's, that's, that's really all you need to know. But I actually like the lettering style. Yeah, that's great. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, very nice. And this is actually the kind of trailer. Well, is this, this is actually a trailer for the next one. Uh, it's all, for all three, really. Yeah, it's kind of for all three, and overall. Yeah, yeah. So there's clues to him we might be seeing in the future. Of course, this you've got the Doctor Orlando. Yeah, well, Lando's much bigger character because yeah, he's, he's, he's in the water. And, um, yeah, and Mina and Lando are rejuvenated. Yeah. Um, so they have kind of continuity through, yeah. the, through the whole series. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Nice to come and go. Yeah. And I wonder, I wonder, should we get a chance to ask, let people ask you a question? Do you want some questions in the audience? Because we're probably wrapping up the time here in a minute or two. And um, anyone like to ask anything? A tumbleweed. I can hear crickets. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, I can ask anything. <laughs> yeah, because I think that's part of what I was discussing with some people. Is, I mean, because you, we're now in the territories, especially in this book, I'm sure the next book's to come, where we are, I don't know all these references so much, I'm not that, I know I said about it, but I don't know much about it, but both breaks and things. But that's part of the point, is what they're going to find. Yeah, that's the point, yeah, yeah. isn't it? I think a lot of people have bought this one now. Yeah. I find it so now that I've got a lot of Yeah. spin off stuff. And of course, there's Jess Nevis, who did one of his amazing yeah. animated yeah. books, too. But I mean, that's it's going, but it is going to make work. We don't know about it. Yeah, if you know, it turns people on to William Pope Washington, for instance. Yeah, yeah fantastic. Because I was joking, I was joking, I was, I was joking about the impossible people who were smiling, standing in the end, even put that saying, oh, yeah, do believe as you can go and listen to his opera. Yes. Around, you know, <laughs> the famous <laughs> opera from 1910. You know, right? <laughs> 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 Google, it'll be hard to be annotated. Yeah. And then that's underneath. And then I mean, I'm talking about this really, reading Alan's interview about how he's now working on the third part of the course, which is going to be set in today, July 2009. Yeah. Yeah, and of course he's tapping into a lot of uh, you know, pop culture things, but he isn't so familiar with how to direct people. So he's having to research. Yes. Press the day. Stay tougher. Stay as tougher. How do you, because yeah, that's the hardest thing. We haven't got the distance. Yeah, there was always, you mustn't look back and you get a perspective on it. How do you get tougher and a bit crapper? How do you get to, wow, well, <laughs> yeah, 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 what, what is it? What else? Because that's part of the overall thing. It's also doing with, these are the fictional, the fictions that we, that we, we lived on, that we were so warm to, to live on in our heads. How they yeah. connect to our, our real life, so called reality and fiction, where they basically cross over a blur, essentially, and reflect each other. And so it's a question of what is the fiction of today and how is it, what's it reflecting on the world of our reality? 
Yeah. Well, I've only got the opening of the, the third one so far, but it yeah. in Afghanistan. Ah. Uh-huh. Uh, Orlando in Afghanistan, which is a fantastic sequence. Mm. Actually, in present day Afghanistan. In present day Afghanistan, yeah. but with a fictional spin, because we, uh, we reference all for Kabul, the famous yeah. cookie bar. Yes, I want to make my point about that. DC yeah. Thompson's published his character, all for Kabul, who a friend, a uh, big guy from Chung with a cricket bat, with a cookie bar. Just a smash tribesman with his cricket bat. I'd yeah. say the table. That's what it's all about. We from a comic, you know. Yes. being beaten around the head by a cricket bat. <laughs> um, so that was set in Afghanistan. And the ball was just kind of undercover, uh, kind of pithelmic character. Yeah. 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 It's kind of a weird strip, but it was part of our childhood growing yes. up. And, and, and it predated us by decades. Of, you know, mm. So it went back to the story papers. Yeah. yeah, it did go back to the story papers indeed. And, uh, so we referenced uh, the Kabul in, in, uh, in volume two. So we got this Afghanistan fiction drip feed, <laughs> drip feeding into it. So um, yeah, that, that's going to come into play. Yeah. Uh, but the fiction, fiction, present day, what's out now? Fiction, TV, films, and books. Mm. Is, um, and you've got to be, got to be very careful as well. The copyright is even everyone's much more litigious now than, yes. than they ever were. Yeah. Um, so we just got to be careful. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, um, yeah, it's going to be fun and it's going to be interesting because we keep going back to London as well. Mm. Mm. Back to London, change. Mm. And 1898 to 1910, not much. Mm. Mm. A great deal of difference in 1958, chillingly. No. Well, Americans were, well, it was inauthentic of me to have um, bombsite ruins and bullet skull, or shrapnel skull. But a lot of stuff stayed out there, didn't it? Americans just tear things down, put things up. Yeah. We leave yeah. stuff. We took it There's a bomb site near St. Paul's to start in the church. Yeah. The church of Bristol, you know, that's, yeah. that's a, a, a bit of a smug, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, so, no, it's completely accurate to have 1950s London yeah. kind of survivor for scars for bricks and yeah. so on. Yeah. Um, but we, we now, we, we're in uh, Soho and uh, an Oxford Street area, and I'll be researching that. And I think, oh, this is the 60s one, of course. 60s one, yeah. Yes. Uh, 1969 Soho was a very different place to today's Soho. Mm. Incredibly different. Mm. And I've forgotten um, how dirty it was, grubby, I mean, mm. garbage on the streets, mm. and uh, uh, quite a perilous area, I remember. I walked through there when I was about 16. Mm. It was um, dodgy, mm. very, very dodgy. And you had, you know, all kinds of interesting characters on, on the streets and tableaus. But I think we've got a young member of the audience. I'll keep, I'll keep the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, he's out, he's out at the he's moment. Out, he's out. <laughs> 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 I was just going to mention, get on with it now. Yeah. Well, I was going to mention, I can remember when I first walked into the area, passing Foyle's bookshop, and there were lines of hookers outside Foyle's. Yeah, on that, on that, yeah, yeah, right, the track was right there. That's, that's not was scary. scary so, though, is it? That's Big square shoulder older women, yeah. who were bags hanging out the mouth, and, yeah. you know, harassing people going into the store. And yeah, with the peep shows and the yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, 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 strip parlours. But there was, there was, there was quite a bit of legislation changed in, in, in the 60s. Yeah. I mean, there were the late 60s and the 70s. And all the police corruption, of course, they were giving back hand as yeah. the pornography was over the display. Yeah. That all changed. It got swept away. Now it's gentrified. Mm. People drinking coffee in the old Compton Street. And, mm. I mean, it's, it's all gone. Actually, it's all gone. There's nothing there from what it used to be. No. So I'm researching all that, which is fun, because we've got mm. characters walking through yeah. and they're meeting lots of fiction and so on. Characters that we, we found. Um, yes, yeah, because you can't have real people in that as well as. I know. And it, well, well, I always think it's like Francis Bacon. Well, we were talking about it. Some real yeah. people in the suburb were almost fictional they characters. Were, were, they, they, yeah. they lived apart, didn't they? You know, they, they, they manufactured a fictional science thing. So, yeah. so, uh, so there yeah, were well, always kind of these drinking clubs. And yeah, and yeah, yeah. The, uh, the French House and the kind of Jeffrey Bernard's, you know, yeah. and all the various clubs. Yeah, that's and that's and so, um, so, yeah, we've got, we got all that going on. Um, you know, we'll reference, um, it does jump forward, oh, I actually won't give it away. No, 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 it's fun, it's rooted in that, but it was yeah. more further on, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. there is, of course, a big overarching apocalypse. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's not a good apocalypse. Well, it is a good apocalypse, because usually it's a sort of transcendental apocalypse where things actually get better. That is natural. Yes. A lot of time. Maybe painfully, but more or less, they're usually. Okay, no going. Yeah, so there is that. 